Hey, good morning and welcome to Sonoran Living Live. I'm Andy Barnes. Stephanie has the morning off and she is missing out this morning because we are continuing with our food truck week. So uh, we're going to be starting off with uh, our food truck, Epic Food Truck, but then we're going to be talking to the outlet shopping gal. Uh, we've got a lot of great things, even some dogs. We're going to show you how to uh, get your dog trained for free. We have a free dog class, but let's kick it off because I'm hungry and what else is new, right? We are kicking things off outside. We have a uh, Epic Hot Dogs and Gourmet Sausages. And this is, uh, this is Paul Choinchik. Yep, Choinchik. <laughs> you say it so much better. Um, this is really interesting because you see a lot of mobile food trucks out there, but yours, you cater just hot dogs. And the story of how you came to have all these different hot dogs, I think it's pretty interesting. Tell me how it came to be. Well, uh, I got my degree from the University of Illinois. Uh, I got a bachelor's in economics, and then I got a job working for a uh, corporate restaurant chain in operations and marketing. Mm -hmm. And I traveled across the U.S. and, you know, coast to coast, I saw that the hot dogs were different everywhere you went. Um, and so I figured, why not get all that and put it all into one menu? And so we created the menu with, uh, it's got over 25 varieties of hot dogs and sausages. Um, and so it's, it's all, we do fresh fries um, all across the board. Um, and there you have it. All right, let's go through some of these hot dogs because I can honestly tell you that I, I, I really couldn't tell you what is, let me try to guess. Huh. Is that cheese? That is cheese. Okay, tell me what's in that and where, where it came from, what state? Okay, well, th this is actually one of our, uh, our gourmet sausages. It's a cheddar chicken sausage locally made by Schrenner's. And we've got a uh, cayenne Dijonet sauce on there and then uh, pepper jack cheese chunks. Pepper jack cheese chunks, yum. So it has a little kick to it? Yeah, it's got a lot of kick to it. A lot it. of kick, okay. What about this one? This right here is our version of a Sonoran. And I say our version is because we use actually a high quality Schreiner's hot dog uh, wrapped in premium bacon um, and then just top it with as many toppings as we can uh, on, a, on an actual Sonoran style bun. So this is more like your, this is your Arizona hot dog? Yes. Okay. Where was this one from? This is actually one of our custom gourmet sausages. Okay. We come up with, uh, with weekly specials. It just happens to be a special of the week. And we'll, we'll, we'll test out artisan cheeses and custom, you know, made sauces. I would love to be a, a, a guinea pig and try some of these. You can come by any time with this truck. Okay, that's some green relish. This is actually what we call our Rebel. Uh, I'm from Chicago, and in Chicago, if you put ketchup on a Chicago hot dog, uh, the, you'll probably get a lynching. Are you serious? <laughs> And so, so what we've done, since we are in Arizona, we're not in Chicago anymore, we've done a Chicago-style hot dog, uh, just the way it comes, and we put ketchup on it, uh, and so we call it the Rebel. But what, what is this? We've got the sport peppers. It's a Chicago, you know, pepper. Um, not quite a jalapeno, a little smaller, but still got some kick to it. Um, got the Chicago neon green relish. Got tomatoes, onions. What makes it neon green? Do I even want to know? It's just, it's just food coloring. Okay. My, uh, my producer, Kim, said, bring that one in to me. So we'll be doing that here in a few minutes, Kim. All right, a chili dog from? This is a, a Texan dog, actually. Um, so it's a, it's a chili cheese dog with, uh, with jalapenos on it. And we, we grill the dog. Still a locally made Shriner's hot dog there. Yum. All right, and this one. Uh, that definitely looks like some brie. That definitely is brie. It's actually our Frenchie. Uh, and so we've got an all-beef dog there with uh, slices of brie cheese. We've got a uh, caramelized pear on there, and then oh. Dijon, actual French Dijon mustard. I am so trying that one. All right, well, let's see if we can have a Tori sort of step on inside. Robert is in there, and he is uh, making some, some more yummy stuff. Where can people find you guys? Really, the, the best way is to check out our website, epichotdogs.com, okay. or follow us on Twitter uh, or Facebook, at Epic Hot Dogs. Uh, we really we travel all around the valley. We do a lot of festivals. We do the Central and Northern Farmers Market uh -huh. uh, Saturday mornings from 9 to 2. Uh, and then it's, we can actually, we've got a request form on our website if somebody wants us to come out to like an office building or if they want to do a private party. Uh, we do a lot of private parties and just uh, head to our website, epichotdogs.com and uh, fill out the form. And we'll contact you from there. Do you think hot dogs are more of a, I mean, they've, you know, you used to get them at, or you still do, you get them at baseball games. So I used to, I grew up with the Dodger dog. Uh, going to the Dodger games, but it, it's gourmet now. So do you see a lot of women, kids, men? Who do you think are your patrons? Really, the, the, the kids are still going to be going for like a plain dog or like a cheese dog. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that, that are, that are kind of going out there and trying all the new things. Um, older, younger. Um, it's just, it, it's, it's the curiosity that gets sparked when, when you find brie cheese and pear on a hot dog or, or some of these exotic toppings that we're using. Yeah, it sounds like you guys get very creative over there. What's it been like sort of owning your own business? I mean, you went to school, you majored in, in economics, and now you're driving around in a mobile food truck. 
I mean, it's food trucks have changed. Uh, you know, they've got the reputation here of roach coaches still. Uh -huh. uh, we're, you think we're, so? You think? Uh, it's, there, there's a lot of people that, that are still leery about trying uh, trying food off a truck, and, and we're trying to change that. We actually, you know, our, our truck is a, a brand new custom built truck. Uh, all the equipment's brand new and clean. Um, and so it, it's just really when people come up, they're, they're surprised that, that, that they're, it's not what they're, they were used to seeing. And you have those stands that are just, you have to go through just like a restaurant, right? I mean, do they, they check it and stuff? We, we do get uh, quarterly visits from the health department, okay. and th they come out, check us out. It's, it's pretty strict. I mean, it's, uh, it, it is exactly you know, what a restaurant has to be held up to, so no special standards. All right. I think it's time for me to try one of these dogs here. Why don't you hold this? Um, bring it over this way. This one actually looked pretty good with the brie and the Dijon mustard. Mm. And that, that French Dijon's got some kick to it. Yeah, I got to talk like that. That French Dijon's actually got some kick to it. So yeah, you get does. the creaminess of the brie, the sweetness from the pear. Mm -hmm. But the, you know that the, you really taste the Dijon there too. So mm. one more for me to try. Oh, you said that they all have kicks to it, though, right? The, 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 you, you can try. It, it won't. It's not like a, a spicy burn. You know, burn through kick. It's a cheddar chicken sausage. So there's actually pieces of cheddar inside the sausage. And it, um, it, it, it won't burn your mouth, so just give it a shot. And you know what? I think I'm going to try French fry. How about that? Sure well, we are going to have uh, all of the information on our website. Um, how often do you get people just trying to pull you over while you're driving because they're just <laughs> craving a hot dog? We, we get people honking all the time <laughs> and so you know, yelling that we love hot dogs and all. So it, it, it's, it's normal. Well, you can come back anytime because we have, oh, how many employees do we have there in ABC 15 that would, that would love it? Well, we'll actually take care of them today, so. Yay! You guys hear that? We're going to have a line out the door. All right, well, we are going to uh, go ahead and um, have all the information on the website.